Good morning, guys. Welcome to uh, Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. That means that we have a lot more days of doing chores before Sam is home again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's not that I don't like doing chores. I actually love doing chores. The problem is that I have so many chores at home that I have to do, too. And, yeah, if you have horses and you have a barn, then you have to find a way to do it all. And I get that completely let's see if this will fit it fits right um i get that completely but it's just nice the days that i actually get to do the, the inside stuff and let them be a priority we keep the ulcer supplement at the house because it freezes in the winter but i think it's almost time now that we can bring it down and use the pump and not have to carry it down each day so i don't always forget that's the plan man it is cold where are the girls what the heck happened to our children? What happened to the children, Penny Pickle? So if it gets really nice today, I'm gonna ride this girl around the property. You guys saw me ride her around the property yesterday. Okay. Um, which could have been a scary thing. Like I was a bit nervous because she doesn't like that burn pile that's back there. I took her away from her ponies and she was all alone. She did amazing, you guys, so good. <sighs> <laughs> Look at that little nose. Oh, they're okay. Back it up. Back it up. Gabby is here. Hooey! And it is cold. Cold today. She found a stick. It's her first stick, you guys. It's her first stick. Her she first came running in with a stick and it was so cute. Oh, she's looking for it. She wouldn't let me touch it. Aww. <laughs> Look how long her legs are getting. And she's still glowing white. She's like, she glows white. She cleans herself. Yeah, she, she's glowing white. She doesn't like to be dirty. But what's weird about our dogs is that we bought three, we bought two big breeds, like a medium breed, and they're both tiny. They're both tiny dogs. Yeah. Here we got the runt of all the litters. People see us coming and they're like, hey, pick the runt. Yeah, we always get the runt. <laughs> Time to lock the, the dragon into the dungeon. She doesn't stay away from- I know you have to whip. I'm using it as, yeah, I can't poke me. She does not stay away from the horses. That's the problem. Yeah, we poked. <laughs> right, who goes first? She can wait and not go out every single time the doors open. All right, go. Okay. Yeah, Gracie. Just saw the wrap Gabby. Pitchfork means stop. Go. I'm make them stand there, patient. They're all covered in dirt. All right, let's see what happens when I open the stall to my girl. <laughs> Everybody gets out of the way. First of all, wait. See, I got my 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 arm. Oh, <laughs> got my arm here. Don't show me up, Penny Pickle. Don't show me up. Listen, Wait. I know she's anxious. Listen, when I let you go, walk the slowest you ever walk so everybody would know that you're the best train, okay? Don't snort at me. Three, two, one. Go slow. 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 That was really good, though. That was really good. So good. Mom. What? Um, come here and see what I found. I think it's frozen, but yeah. it's a caterpillar. So last year, everybody, there, this thing went around on TikTok that said that if your caterpillar has a lot of black on it, see how that guy has a lot of brown? I don't know if you can see. Then it means we're going to get a lot of snow. We hardly got any snow and hardly any freezing and hardly any ice last year. Okay, so before we start today, I wanted to give you guys this little message um, about, I a about, about how to be kind. This is the recipe for how to be kind. So basically, you guys saw yesterday, a couple days ago, we I went on a trail you. ride, and we helped a girl that flipped her four-wheeler, and her brother and her cousin were there, and you guys saw all the stuff that happened, and it's so easy to be able to say, like, oh, oh my gosh, they shouldn't have done this, or they should have done this, or oh my gosh, if that was me, I would have done this better, and then to find blame or to uh, find the negatives in the situation. But kindness is accepting what other people say as their own truth. Kindness, it means understanding that even though we see things differently with our own experiences, that when we're judging somebody else's experience, we need to trust 
and believe and know that what they say is true for them. And sometimes it makes it hard because we experience things in our own way and when we see something, we try to see it with our own experiences, but we can't do that. We can't ever see somebody else's life with our own experiences because it's not our life. Kind of like we can't talk about someone until we've walked a mile in their shoes or it's just not possible. The problem is when we start judging situations based on our own experiences and that's what takes kindness into judgment and to criticism and to meanness. Kindness is allowing others to have their own experiences. That's the truth, you guys. Kindness is allowing other people to have their own experiences and to listen to them and believe in them and hear what they're saying without clouding what they're saying by judging it with our own experiences. So that's what I did on that trail. It took me a really long time to learn that skill. And here's the thing, if you don't do that, if you're out there judging and and basing all your judgments on your own experiences and what you would do if you were in that situation, then the reason for that is either you're just not in the habit of understanding that you can't judge somebody else's experience by your own experience, or it could mean that you're feeling insecure and that if somebody does something and it's different than what, how you do it, then it makes you feel like people think you're doing it wrong. And that should never matter to you because your security should come with knowing that you're doing the best that you can with the information that you have right now. So right now, do the best that you can. And if that information changes, then do the best that you can with the new information. And that is all the world should expect from you. That's all that you should expect from yourself. So go out there and be confident and be strong. So. I'm still working on the trailer with Penny. Uh, uh, I tried to give Daisy a bigger stick and uh, she didn't take it. I'll try and show you guys that later. I just said, oh shoot, I forgot to put in fresh hay and water in my stall. That means Sam has to do it at night. And Gabby said, I did not I did it. She, I said, oh, we forgot to do water and hay. And Gabby said, oh, I, I didn't forget. And I said, did you do mine? And she said, every man for himself. <laughs> I think she's got that expression wrong but yeah she did her own all right we are waiting for gabby we are headed out because you guys know why i've been needing groceries this is like the longest i've ever gone without actually going to the store and filling up on groceries it's because the store i like is far away and now that it's spring and things are happening and we can get out and clean the paddock and clean the yard which is on the agenda makes grocery shopping seem a lot less fun to me in the winter all we have is grocery shopping and which is why we always gain weight okay so Go on my TikTok, Sophie and Finn, or Finn and Sophie, I don't know what one it is. Um, and there's a video on how to make a homemade poppet. Just, it might be somewhere in, it's somewhere in my TikTok. I'm trying to make this TikTok that I've been dying to make. I don't mind messing But up. for some reason, my app keeps crashing. My app keeps crashing. Tell me if you guys have the same problem. Like, I've never I had problems with my TikTok crashing. crashing before. Want me to post it to club right now? But I, yeah, I can't get it to post. Always buckle my purse onto the cart so nobody can oh, steal it. So I'm taking advantage and buying as much stuff as I can. Uh, usually I go several times a week. You got guns. Yep, those are the daughters that I always dreamed of out there buying guns. What are you gonna do with guns? I don't mind with the glass on it so I can easily shoot things. What'd you get? All right, what are you doing with guns? Shoot the grandkids when they come? Setting up uh, targets? Totally. Totally shooting the tar grandkids, shooting targets? What did she, what did she do? She talked to one of the camera TV things. So I was unsure about my gun. I needed advice. <laughs> so you talked to the camera? Yeah. The surveillance camera? She yeah, was exactly. unsure about her gun. Uh, I got a different one after. Tell them what it's like to shop with Gabby. Never go shopping with Gabby. Takes her five years to decide. And then once we finally go, and we're about to head back. She decides to choose the other gun. <laughs> and she stands there for another 10 minutes. <laughs> well, at least she's confident with her decision. Are you confident with your decision on gun? Yes. Okay. Gabby's gonna show us where she got her guns from. It's a boy's and aisle. Change her mind. Oh gosh, get out, let's get out. Yeah. Gabby loves cars. And you can control it with your phone. <laughs> And it lights up. Yeah. Cool. Here's the guns. Gabby's got to choose. Gabby got to choose from all these. You guys know she'll be getting a gun soon. What about a paintball gun? Would you rather that? No. You could shoot like paint. 
This is where I got this gun. How much is that gun? Like 30 something. So these are the baskets that we made. I'll show you. This is what they look like, completely finished. Um, and then I put like our our business card on here. I might con write congratulations on the back. So that one's the second place. And then this one's the Those third place. Champion. Yeah. So those this are our is baskets. The gun that I have. So. And I'm glad mine doesn't need um, batteries because Gabby's going to do all these little things. Gabby's gun is having a malfunction. So we're going to go down to the barn and do what we need to do while we I wait for her. Targets. You know how you like fire it and go. I finally got a case of water for the barn fridge. Oh, there's already a case of water in there. What the heck? We had some supplements spill in that fridge, so I need to clean it out. Ugh. 10 degrees is 10 degrees inside the barn. Probably almost double that outside the barn oh, in the sun. And so much it. <gasps> oh no, why'd you leave it there? That was my favorite lead rope. And it was Stella's. Mm-hmm. It's still usable. Still usable until somebody pulls on it. Like, what the heck? Who do you think it was? Yeah, it was either Gracie or Penny. Look at how cute these little horses are. Look at how cute you guys are. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello, princess. You coming? You gonna join up with me? Oh, she's mad. She's <laughs> typical woman. What did I do, Penny Pickle? Hey, did I not come in time? You come in? Penny. I think she's scared of Sophie's gun. So we're still working on our course. It's gonna be like a process. We're gonna take it slow because there's a lot in the last half of it. A lot of different things for us to work on. Uh, right now I'm gonna start working more on desensitizing Penny because she is a chicken. She's scared. She does get nervous which is odd because she's been there, done it, and been a trail horse most of her life. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. But first I'm gonna clean up some poop in the field. The field is looking pretty good. I don't know if you guys can tell. Not too much poop in this front half, just dirt. And Gracie's like, I know, you have food. Penny is terrified of broomsticks. That's one of her big fears. And so I'm working it. I've been working on it with her and she's doing really good. You're okay. She definitely doesn't like them though. Good girl, yes. Yeah, it's, it, that's it's why it's powerful. Batteries. That's why Gabby bought a powerful gun. Yeah, you don't want to be on Gabby's bad it side. Shot, it shot the same length away as the other one, but it had uh, whatever this is. The eyesight. So Gabby wants to learn to shoot and her brother who her older brother said that he's gonna take her shooting, teach her how to shoot. She's been researching guns and stuff. And I love that idea. I love I know how to shoot a pistol now. Yeah, like I love the idea of people doing what they love instead of sticking to specific gender roles. I think that it's super important to do what you love. There's no better pony in the world than this one. Like, if you want a best friend, this is your pony. If you want a horse to, this horse would sit on your lap if you taught her to do it. Like, she just wants to be with us all the time. She's brave as heck. Aren't you brave? Oh, you no, need a good brush. The gun, then she comes well, yeah, except for when they shoot the gun in the arena, she comes galloping. <laughs> what a crazy girl. I think she's in heat. I think she might be in heat, too. Are you in heat, little missus? She'd be feeling frisky. Yes, nice girl. Now run. Yeah, that might be she's in heat. Sassy. Sassy girl. Penny's like, stop these shenanigans right now. Okay, so. Explain to us the competition. Uh, We're going to get the girls to try and shoot their guns and the idea is to get it over the top of the... Mine doesn't even shoot. So wait, 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 wait. Set yours up, so, all right. On your mark. Whoa, get set. Oh. 
Keep shooting until you get one over. Yeah, neither does Sophie. Sophie's guns. What a rip off. What a rip off, Nerf. Like, I can't even see it going out. Oh, there it goes. Wow, it's fast. That one's cool. You should have spent the extra 20 bucks. Can we swap? Okay. See? That one high. That one high. So aim properly. Now look and make sure you got one. Okay. Close, Sophie. Now make sure you got one. Close. Gabby, shoot way all the way to that to that wall there. That's amazing. She's literally terrified of these guns. You're okay. It's just a gun. It's okay. You're okay, Pen. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's a toy. She's just trembling. Her whole body. Trembling. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Let her smell it again. Okay, don't push it for a second. Let her just smell it. That's right. Whoa, it's just a gun. Yeah, you're okay. All right, well, change of plan. She's terrified of the guns. Gabby? No. So I'm going to let her go so she can eat grass. That's what we did the other day, and she did great, but she's so spooky today. Yeah. All right, I love this. This is fun. Okay, Mom, I'm doing it. All right, pray, pray that we don't have a galloping pony. She's she's just got to get over it. She's smarting like crazy. Uh oh, hold on. I hope she doesn't try and jump. Yeah, let her get used to it. Let her get used to it. Oh, good golly. Dad, Literally, the girls are standing here with guns. Can I go get my bullet now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gabby could probably shoot her horses with her gun, and they would hardly even move. All right, let's see. Oh, we're rolling. And now she's uh -oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gracie's an icon. sun like that first sun after winter is amazing and I looked over at Penny it was just stroll along eating while the girls are shooting their guns and I was like you know what I'm gonna ride her bareback I ride my horse bareback I remember when Gabby did that when she got her first horse I'm gonna ride her bareback that's what I'm doing I don't know if this is a good idea She's a little rambunctious. She's been calm and just... Hello, Penny girl. Yeah, don't be scared. So, one of my first lessons with uh, Fiona is gonna be about like desensitizing and despooking, cause that's what she needs. And I recognize a problem though, like all the girls did today was shoot their guns a couple of times inside the arena when she was outside. Wasn't even looking at them. And she sh they were shooting them. And she got freaked out by the gun. And it's been like 
I don't know, half an hour, and she's like still really worried about those guns. Oh God. She could be one of those horses that's never been ridden bareback. Forward. Okay, Gabby, you lead me. Oh God, she's so fast. Hold on to her mane. Okay, so how do I put my feet? Okay, hold on. Okay. You were like sliding. Oh yeah. Hold on to the mane like all right. Okay. She is fast, like she has a big movement. Like you guys know when I walk on her, she doesn't like amble along. She doesn't, she's like, I mean, it doesn't look like she's super fast, but she moves bigger than like Storm. But yeah, so fun. I'd like to work on that some more. Go get the ammo, and the dog went and got the ammo. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 